Yeah, my name is Mike Standridge. Uh, I'm with Tribe Mania Tree Services, and our program that we offer addresses both oak decline and oak wilt. Oak decline is a disease that is caused primarily by stressors that are in our ecosystem. There's a whole list of stressors, and I'll be discussing all of the different stressors in our ecosystem in, uh, in this series. But uh, these stressors that are uh, involved in our ecosystem, they ultimately lead to an advanced dehydration uh, in our trees. Oak wilt is a disease that is caused by fungus. And so in this series, I will address both of these diseases and uh, will introduce to you our very simple four-step program that promotes health and hydration in, in our trees. Healthy and hydrated trees have an immune system that is able to resist and even compartmentalize stress, insects, and pathogens. So let's begin by identifying some of the symptoms that uh, can be found in oak wilt and oak decline. The first symptom that will show up when uh, a tree is declining, whether it's from oak wilt or oak decline, is you're going to see discoloration in the leaves. The leaves will begin to change color from, if, if the tree is healthy and hydrated, then the leaves will have a, a dark green tint. And if there's stress or if there's oak wilt, involved, then uh, the leaves are going to be changing colors and showing discoloration. There are some uh, specific markings that sometimes can be in a leaf if, if it's oak wilt, and I'll talk more about that uh, when we get to that topic um, in another series. But uh, then defoliation. Defoliation, and this is progressive, uh, uh, This uh, these symptoms, it's a progression. But defoliation is just a thinning, thinning out of the canopy. Uh, decline. Uh, decline will show uh, dead branches and then just overall decline in, in uh, the, the tree. Then the last and final step in the process is death. And typically that starts with what is called dieback. You'll see branches up in the top that die back completely and then eventually the entire tree uh, will die. To create some contrast so that we can see what a healthy tree looks like versus an unhealthy tree, um, this picture is of a canopy that we did in River Chase, and this picture is three years after we had done the job, but what, what we can observe from this canopy is how hydrated, uh, and healthy the canopy is and how balanced the canopy is. And uh, there's no decline whatsoever. There's no discoloration. There's no defoliation, nothing. Uh, this particular canopy uh, has a very healthy and hydrated growth pattern. This um, image is of a tree that is showing a very advanced stage of oak decline. We can see that uh, the leaves have fallen off in parts of the tree. Um, there's discoloration even in the leaves that are left, and then you've got branches that are dying. This is a very advanced uh, stage of oak decline. This uh, is a very un healthy, unbalanced growth pattern. Uh, just because a tree has a lot of leaves doesn't mean that it's healthy. There can be an overpopulation of leaves, too much population, too much demand for the supply. Uh, then there can be too much leaf population in unwanted areas. For example, this particular canopy has way, way too much leaf population in the underbelly and then it has a dominant spot. And we see this quite often in our ecosystem, but that 
results in there not being enough water and nutrients that is being taken in to supply this demand. So the tree stops developing up higher in the canopy. This um, is a picture that I took at the beginning of this growth cycle. Uh, at the beginning of this growth cycle, we saw uh, an accelerated uh, decline of trees everywhere. I mean, I was getting calls from people and, and they, they had 19 trees that were dead and, and this time last year they were alive and this is uh, one particular incident that uh, is in Mystic Shores. They had 13 trees uh, that were dead that were alive this time last year. So the declining uh, rate is, is accelerated and it's because the trees have been under um, stress for years and years and years. And then on top of that, we had three major events. We had the snow freeze, the ice freeze, and then we had um, 70 plus uh, days, consecutive days of 100 plus temperatures last summer. So those three events were, are like, were like blankets of stress on top of trees that are already uh, under great stress. So thank you for your interest in our services. Uh, thank you for watching this video and feel free to contact me. If you have any questions, uh, my number is on the screen here. Our website is on the screen. You can go to our website and uh, use the contact us button to ask any questions that you might have. Or you can schedule um, a meeting for me to come out and do an assessment and an evaluation of your trees. There's no cost for the initial uh, assessment. I can come out and I can assess your trees and determine uh, the dehydration and stress level that would be in your trees. Please stay tuned uh, to the future videos that will be coming out. We're going to look further into this. It's, this is a whole series. We're going to be talking about oak decline, oak wilt, uh, our four-step program. We're talking about dehydration, um, containment efforts. There's a lot of information that is going to be coming that I'll be uh, producing in the weeks and months to come. So just stay tuned and uh, thank you for your interest.